Now, the storm threat is a game changer for high school football. All right, two schools decided to reschedule their games already. They were supposed to be Thursday and Friday. They've moved right. up to Wednesday and Thursday. Fox Force Richard Ray from Trophy Club tonight with more on that. Rich. Good evening, guys. The junior varsity teams from Denton Geyer and Byron Nelson just wrapped up uh, the last of four games involving JV and freshman teams that were scheduled to be played on Thursday but moved up so the varsity teams can meet in Denton tomorrow. The coaches here fear now that the weather may foil them anyway. Come on, come on. Push it, push it. The head coaches at Byron Nelson and Denton Geyer High Schools got together and moved the games up fearing that severe weather on Friday night would force a postponement. They will play in Denton where the stadium has a UIL marching band contest on Saturday, which would complicate rescheduling then and there. We're both in multi-school districts, so trying to get a stadium if everybody gets pushed back another day is going to be difficult as well. Uh, looking at the weather now, uh, we may get pushed back to Friday and, and end up playing on the, the day that we had scheduled, but we'll see what happens. If it's just raining, we're going to play. But you always, the lightning is what puts us in a bind. Texas schools have become a lot more sensitive to lightning as a safety issue. At Northwest ISD, all coaches of outdoor sports and trainers have lightning detection apps on their phone. It'll send out text messages um, for alerts. Trainers like Gus Stevenson monitor the weather whenever there are players on the field. UIL rules require that any lightning strikes within eight miles stop play. Northwest uses an even stricter standard of 10 miles. Once there shows um, lightning in the area in 10 miles, then I um, call practice or call the game. We have to get off the field. We don't want anybody to get struck by lightning. Way to go, Buckets! Parents and fans appreciate the caution. I'm not a fan of lightning, and so if it's around, then I want, it to, I want the coaches and all the personnel involved to be safe and keep our boys safe and keep us safe. Especially in North Texas, there's a lot of lightning. It's very dangerous for these kids out here playing football, for sure, and people in the stands with aluminum stands. Head coach Polk says he's been here seven years since Byron Nelson opened. Never before has tried to move up a game to avoid weather, but the good news, the silver lining, Steve, is the kids who played tonight had absolutely perfect weather. <laughs> exactly. All right. Richard Ray, live tonight. Trophy Club, thank you.